Share prices in the UK have seen their biggest one-day drop in a year following an overnight collapse in the Japanese stock market, which plummeted by 7%. Investors have apparently been spooked by growing fears over the health of the Chinese economy. And there are also worries that the US authorities are starting to think about withdrawing support from the economy that's kept the whole show on the road for the last four years. Well, here's our economics editor, Faisal Islam. Faisal. Thanks, Cathy. Japan, the land of the rising stock market in 2013, but as share prices have risen, so have the worries that Japan is seeing the inflation of an epic new bubble. Well, overnight, that bubble spectacularly burst. The question, does Japan show us where the rest of the world is going to? Let's have a look at the Japanese stock market over the last year. Flat as a pancake, actually for three years, until last November. Then it takes off in spectacular style. Uh, not so far from doubling in value in just six months. That's a remarkable boom. And then last night... It came crashing down, Japan's leading Nikkei index falling by more than 7% in one trading day. Here, the FTSE followed some, though not all, of that drop from Tokyo today by just over 2%. And in Germany, the Frankfurt DAX index was also down by about 2%. So what's driving this sell-off? Well, it's an awful lot to do with what drove shares up in the first place. This man... Shinzo Abe became Japanese Prime Minister, determined to end his country's decades of stagnation with radical new boosts to the economy that became known as Abenomics. He stimulated government spending and ordered the Japanese central bank to print money. Much of it ended up pumping the stock market. A similar approach has been pursued by this man, Ben Bernanke, the head of the US Federal Reserve. The Fed has been boosting the American economy by pushing more money into the system, $85 billion every month. So stock markets have become very dependent on central banks. The question, when might this easy money come to an end? Last night, Mr Bernanke gave investors a bit of a scare. If we see continued improvement and we have confidence that that is... Um, uh, going to be sustained, then we could, in, in the next few meetings, we could take a step down in our uh, pace of purchases. So the markets, not least in Japan, took fright at the potential for early withdrawal of their monetary stimulant. The problem is that away from the financial bubble, the real economy isn't looking great either. China reported its first contraction in manufacturing outputs for seven months. The world's second largest economy is slowing. So Japan's bubble is one symptom of a wider problem that includes us here in Britain, a world kept afloat by central bank money that has inflated the price of shares, bonds, commodities, property and much else. The past 24 hours is a sign that economies damaged by the crisis in 08 have yet to heal fully or at all. It all goes badly for what happens when this anaesthetic is withdrawn. Cathy.